Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back getting into the colony section yet again for the next testing initiative. It is VPAC Testing Initiative 3. Let's see how the creep is going to go through this testing phase and what we get. Um, alright, if this unintelligent individual wants field gens he will get field gens and much more all right user new systems are accessible to you we have a flow controller which pushes only creep in a direction which is great for assaulting plateaus an air sac fabricator which creates controllable air sacs by absorbing creep over time flood it with creep to increase production speed we get an egg fabrication which drains creep and stores it in eggs and eggs can be launched Fire the fabricator with the command egg, uh, with the command eggs button, and we also have a forb fabricator which creates the forbs and their friends. It's uh, an excellent source of control of crimson. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's so neat when it just takes control of your control of your monitor. Uh, rocket launchers, the updated ones too. Look at those beautiful rocket launchers. Looks like they're upping their defenses. Lancers can intercept their missiles, but I want to continue playing along so their shale remain locked. Okay, so let's go for harder. Let's go for hardcore. We gotta, we gotta kill some things. We gotta kill some things. And we have eight power to do it. Now, I'm not gonna use all the tools at our disposal because, well, you know, we, we, we got some things we want to do. We got some things we want to do. I do want to use the Forbes for sure. Maybe we'll use some air sacs. And I really don't know about launching eggs with all these shields around. It seems kind of counterintuitive at the moment, but maybe later on, maybe later on, we shall see. So let's plan our start. Uh, we're going to want an emitter because we need that to fill the mesh, right? I mean, if mesh isn't filled, we're not going to be able to uh, to do anything. We're going to do plenty of launchers, right? Let's do uh, four launchers and we can still get a uh, Forb Fabricator, that's right. We'll grab a Forb Fabricator as well. That way we can mesh up right into the Forb Fabricator. We'll get some launchers on the go. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, wh I, what, what am I looking at? Pack systems have never had anything like that. It's so odd. What does it do? I'm assuming they're talking about the Forb Fabricator. Who knows what it does, uh, but we do. It makes makes the friendliest friends who ever friended a friend. There's an urn coming from outside the map onto the inside. That's a magical urn. Uh, you gotta love that. Where's it going? Where are you going, urn friend? Uh, we shall see. Uh, we have to wait for the wall to break down from the previous testing lab. That's right, they're all interconnected. Uh, oh, oh, I made a super shield. Oh, butts. Uh, you know, that's fine, that's fine. We, we got launchers for that. We'll be fine. Uh, is there any secretive things out in the middle of nowhere that we have to worry about this time? Okay, so no secretive factory or anything this time. Uh, but let's get into here. Let's start doing things. And of course, we're going to want to set up our uh, launchers. We're going to start with some blabos. Uh, they will be at locations. Maybe we can probably just destroy this right away. I mean, there's no snipperinos around us. We can go for... Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll go for you. And we'll go for something along this side, right? We'll go for, like, just, just along here. Just to start destroying some stuff. Uh, because, yeah, we, we, wanna, we want some destruction. Uh, and, of course, we want to mesh up underneath the Forb Fabricator because we want that Forb Fabricating. Are these on? That is not on. That is on. I may have to move this one. Hmm. Yeah, that might be a little bit of a problem. Uh, I'm going to see if it'll turn on, but, yeah, I think just moving is probably best. Uh, Bazinga, let's, let's move this launcher. So we have one bad launcher that's going to be moved over here. Let's make that now a blabo friendo. Uh, that can go. I guess that one was kind of going over here. Where is that one going? <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, yeah. That was weird. Uh, but, okay, good. It's, it's up and running. Fantastic. Should, well, they're not really well in sync, but yes, now we have the Forbulons. They are starting to Forb, and they're going to be creating a lot of creep, right? We can have 20 active Forbs. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm a I'm big old fan of that. Um, and now we are starting to get... What is that one climbing the walls? What are you doing? What are you doing? I have no idea what that one's doing. Let's actually just shift to all of them over here at this point. Let's just destroy this earned one. Let's destroy this Emrift. We'll start destroying the defenses and letting the creep start to build up. We're going to use the Forbs as our primary source of uh, creep generation for now. There we go. No more earned unit. Get out of here. And then we'll start working up a side, right? I think we're going to work up this left side first. Uh, now, I mean, the Emrift, I don't think it really matters, but I just want to... Now we can start destroying this wall. Hopefully, we won't have any more wall crawlers. I have no idea what that was about. Let's let's take a look and see if they're going to do that again. That was, that was weird. 
Uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe because I put it too close to the edge, it got confused with the edge and the wall and all sorts of things. But I wasn't putting the where the blob was to go near the edge, and it was just like, eh, I'm going to head over here and up and down and all around. But yeah, it looks like we're doing pretty okay now. We're starting to take out some of their defenses, which is even better. And that should hopefully allow our creep and our mesh... Wait, did I mesh die? How did I mesh die? What is happening in this world? Uh, let's move the emitter, I guess, uh, to there? Will that make the mesh work? For some reason, the mesh wasn't under it. Weird. It was working before. Did I accidentally delete it? I don't know, but the mesh is back. The Forbes will return, uh, and we will continue our pushing. Ah, there we go. We got the shield destroyed. That feels pretty good. We just need the creep to sort of build up and get there. Let's let's increase the speed, because, again, I want the Forbes to... To real, I'm gonna show up Forbes. I, I love the Forbes. They're my friends. Oh, it's going up the wall again. Why are you going up the wall again, sir? What are you doing? Boop. I mean, it still hit a target. It's just really weird that it takes that pathway. Uh, and I don't know which one it, it is. So let's see if it. So it does hit that. I'm guessing it's this one. So I'll move you over here because yeah, we really, really don't want that. Uh, just want to get some creep up here. Uh, we're our, we're starting to get some blobo creepages. There we go. We are free. We are free creeps, uh, and we can now work on the next set. You know, we'll just we'll just free ourselves. That feels pretty good. Get the creep bleeding on out as well, which is even better. And beautiful, beautiful stuff. Look at all them four friends just spewing their creep everywhere. Uh, Oh, launchers. Let's let's take out the shield. That's probably the number one target we're supposed to take out, right? Shields uh, gonna cause some strife. Now we can get this other shield and the M Riftala, and that'll be nice. There we go. So yeah, the it's so good when uh, these things just work very very well. And what's also nice is thanks to V Pack attacking, uh, we are able to very thankfully upgrade our launchers we've already upgraded to two star which means we are firing quite a few things and i think you're supposed to use uh the flow controller to get up here right i mean it makes sense use the flow controller to climb up this we got blobs i th i think look at that we we just destroyed we just destroyed everything we actually have no power coming up here other than that amrift oh there we go uh tappy tappy ticky oh wait a I doubt he means to be transmitting that. Amazing. The creep successfully pushed out of the corner. Typing. Ah, yes. What an amazing feat. It is an amazing feat. We are amazing creep. Uh, if I mean, clearly they, they weren't too aware of that. But let's uh, let's take over this top. Let's get another power under our belts. Uh, and we're going to take that out with the creep generated from blobs. You know, one of the, one of the, the little known things that blobs can do is when they just reach their destination, they will just drop their creep. That'll expand. Oh, yeah, there we go. And that'll also turn off this power, which turns off that, which means we don't have to worry about it. Uh, there's an M rift over there. There's an M rift up here. Let's grab this M rift. Get another top area, right? Go for go for the tippy toppies. That feels pretty. Ooh, there's some big guns over there. You know, I'm going to take one of these. I'm just going to say go for the big guns. So one goes over there. Uh, we should have enough blobos to sort of... Look, they're all taking the wall. Why are they... I mean... Okay, that's wild. Like, they're over here. And yeah, that, look at that. I mean, they have a clear path. But they're taking the wall. I don't get it. That's very strange. Uh, oh, but we did get the Emrift. So by getting by getting the Emrift, I guess that works out very very nicely. Uh, well, just, okay, good. They have no more no more power there. So that feels nice. But geez, look at the wall assault. Uh, that's not good for them. Uh, oh, you're not muted. Mute SFX. Um, very weird, weird, wild stuff. There we go. We got rid of the super units. There's an Emrift over there. Might as well take it out. You know, never hurts to take out the Emrifts. Um, I, look at, I mean, these blobs, at least when they finally do hit, will drop all their creep, which will essentially drain this area and get us some more power. Uh, I do want to use that power for maybe something else, but I do want to also toss a couple of blobs over here. Hopefully, hopefully they don't take the wall route, right? I mean, over here. Uh, and just drop some creep, right? Get on the other side of things. That seems kind of good to me. Uh, I'm a big old fan of that. So that's pretty nice. Oh no, did none of the creep actually uh, drop on the ground? There we go. So now we have some creep over here, and that's some creeper breeder. Gotta love the breeders. Love that. 
Uh, so that's pretty fantastic. We can drop some on the other side as well, but there's no breeder over here that I saw when I was just inspecting the map, so we're not going to do that. Um, but inspecting the map, we do have only one pathway for power here. I'm going to see if spores can get it done. So if we just toss in some spores, just drop them like right there. Uh, hopefully they don't take some weird path like we were expecting. Oh, I should still do that. Uh, whoops, it is. We'll do that with spores in a second. Let's let let's see how well these do. Do Can the spores get through? Uh, there are a couple of mystical... Oh, yeah, spores can get through. No problem. No problem. That's gorgeous. Okay, so take out this Palan Bazinga. That's what we were trying to do. Once they run out of some power, we'll be in a pretty good spot. Uh, take out the front lines, of course. The Emrift over here was taken out. We're feeling pretty good. Uh, the creepers managed to bypass the front door. I can't wait for phase three. We we went from nothing to everything. Oh my, oh my. Uh, I don't really need to keep shooting, but I am afraid that those are going to clear out the creep and they'll rebuild. So I'm sort of just doing this while our creep you know, creeps or does its thing. But I, th I think we're pretty good here. Oh, wow. Have we we've actually drained all... Oh, wow. You know what? We've drained all their, uh, their red on. Let's just, let's just keep going. I was going to turn this into an assault from over here. But holy moly, we I don't even know if we need to do that. I was also going to try and assault with mesh from the front. Uh, oh, I want one of these to go over here. Is this going to be able... I don't think they're going to be able to shoot it down because they don't have enough red on anymore. Maybe they... Ooh. Oh, it is starting to get through. I really need to remove or move this back. Uh, oh, yes, it's landing. We did it with launch! Ah, oh, beautiful. Well, Drats, there goes that defense. I'm so excited to see if it has more surprises as testing goes on. Uh, I think we just did all the surprises we needed to do. Uh, I mean, we can go straight for their base. We can basically do anything we want. Uh, but let's let's do a little base kill here. That feels pretty good. Uh, I have 3.5 power that I haven't been using. What am I thinking? Uh, how much is a air sac? That's two? Let's, let's grab an air sac, fam. Oh, uh, it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Uh, there's the air sac fab. Let's talk. Oh, it's so big. It's big and gorgeous. Uh, that's a massive structure. Ticky, ticky, ticky. Uh, ooh, there's also lines. There should be a line for the flow controller. Yeah, there we go. Let's read that. Huh? Wait, let me guess. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, field gen? Can this creeper adapt? Why only now does it have access to the field gen? So many questions. So much to write down. Ticky, ticky, tappy. Uh, it's called a flow controller, so I can't wait him for the freak out if I decide to make contact. So there we go. It's a flow controller. I just want to put it down to get whatever line was coming out. Here is our air sac attack. It's sucking up that creeper. Let's let it do. Prepare the next test chamber. We are entering phase three. The creeper pack system has proven to be an utter idiot. Woohoo. Oh, not to be an utter idiot. Woo. I could be insulted. I don't feel offended right now. So there we go. Spores and Blobos are the king, right? That feels pretty darn good. Uh, the AC hasn't won out, but let's uh, let's take out the rest of the map because it's it's not much. Uh, we can just toss down some creep at this point, I think. I mean, there should be no power. Is there no power? Is there power? How are they still shooting? Oh, nope, they're all starting to run out. There we go. That feels better. Take out those because they're just jerks. Keep the mesh flowing on in. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, we'll even mesh on up there. And then we just have to take out, of course, the AC. The only thing that can actually do anything is this factory, which is still gathering its red on, so we'll just take that out yet again, because I was a fool and let it rebuild. But the, the creep is in. The creep is in. Uh, the air sac attacks. Uh, we're almost to our first one. It makes air sacs. Wow such a massive complex i suppose it makes sense an air sac are very large themselves this is a very exciting specimino oh and they have a little health bar super cool um so now we have this i'm assuming we can just be like air sac get over here do your thing look at him go he's the best he's beautiful he's a big beautiful boy and he'll listen to our commands oh look at that it says their health when we select the unit this is very nice. Uh, he is kind of stuck a little bit, so let's let's have him fly over here. Let's see let's see how how directional they can be. Uh, no 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 come back! I don't know where you're stuck. This this wall has really ruined the air sac attack. Uh, 
not ruined, but caused some strife. Uh, so air sack attack. We have to guide you. We have to guide you. There we go. Now go through the hole. It happens. The air sack has made it. It's able. It survived. And yeah, there we go. Now we have the air sack attack doing the things that it was meant to do. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Again, the spores did the work that we needed it to do. But that felt pretty good. I'm very happy for that. And I like, I really like the control and seeing the health of the air sacks. That's very, very nice. Boom, look at that. Its health is at 8. I don't know how much damage it took from some missiles. I'm kind of curious about that, but we have eliminated the threat. Let's get out of here. Uh, next, I wonder what we're going to get next time. Uh, we did in 16 minutes. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, just about the s just second of virtue, so I'll take it. I will take it. 1644 is very, very good as well. Uh, so this has been... Testing initiative number three. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. Looking forward to more testing, more exploring, and seeing what this creep is up to. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.